Jim Munley's World of Weather. You clicked on to Long Range Weather Forecast discussion for November 7th to 19th. The models for the 7th are in pretty good agreement. We're looking here at the GFS. We start and it, the GFS carves out, and all the models are showing this is a, a trough here over the eastern U.S. We have a ridge over western North America, and we have a cyclone or trough here in the Gulf of Alaska. So we're going to go to the end of the period. This is the 11th. You still see we have the low Noma Heights here, a ridge, deepening ridge here in Western North America, and we have a trough here in the in the east. All the models are in agreement with this. Even our um, Canadian ensembles, which has always been um, different from all the other models with a zone of flow, are all showing the basic configuration. Um, now we're going to look at the period for November 10th to the 14th. Models indicate little change in the circulation pattern. For this, we're going to go to the 10th now. Still, this is the GFS. We still have the low normal heights here, a ridge here, and a trough over eastern North America. The assembles are indicating a negative AO and positive PNA configuration, and this along with the current sea surface temperature anomalies across the Pacific Ocean and a vortex near the Aleutians. That seems likely the expected El Nino which will likely fall in the weak to moderate category and warmer waters near the Pacific Coast could favor a negative AO and positive PNA configuration and um, if this comes true during this period, this will lead to a mild and dry west and a cold east. During this forecast period, I am forecasting above normal temperatures here, below normal temperatures for this region for precipitation, calling for below normal precipitation here, near normal elsewhere. Go look now at the period for uh, November 15th and 19th. During this period, um, we see we have a positive PNA. This supports a current uh, the ridge in the west. I'm gonna go to this um, forecast period now. This is the 15th. We're centered on the 15th, and you still see we have this uh, ridge here. We have our below normal heights here, and the. The NAO is forecast also to be po uh, starts off positive here, and then goes negative through the period. But um, the NA the NAO I don't know if this hasn't catched up uh, haven't catched up yet, but um, it's negative now, and then goes positive, and then goes negative again. It fluctuates a lot, and then you can see down here it goes positive again, and this doesn't correlate well with the, the way the other models are showing. Uh, the positive PNA, uh, oh, wanted to say the services in the, uh, the southern stream are likely to interact with the polar and Arctic jet, resulting in several cold air masses intrusion to the right of the continental divide. So during this forecast period, I am forecasting little change in the temperature anomalies Although um, maybe the cold could extend further westward, I'm going to look at that again tomorrow. But above normal, above normal temperatures here, below normal temperatures for this region and for precipitation. I'm calling for below normal pre precipitation for the west coast states in the Great Basin and above normal precipitation for the northeast and the northern middle Atlantic. So that is a long range weather forecast discussion for November 7th to 19th. Thanks for coming to Jim Money's World of Weather and have a good day.